So what you're doing is you're literally putting the light of consciousness inside your body so that you can start actually managing it. Where's the tension? Why is the tension? How can I perceive this relationship and why? And the timing in that relationship, okay? And your mind, your consciousness is what is the light that you have to shine in there. So you really start understanding, well, how do you work? Why do I work this way? What does this do for here and now? Okay. And that's one huge step. Another huge step is how then do I train my mind in the moment of life and death to still remain conscious like that, to still be able to do that? And that's a huge part of the old warrior training was how do you do that? Because as Brasidus of Sparta said, long time ago, fourth century Bravo Chuck. Fear makes men forget, and skill, which cannot fight, is useless. So, it's not that we don't have fear, because it's the human condition, it's that we get a relationship with it, of accepting and allowing it to be there, so that the fear actually helps us instead of hurts us. Being afraid of your fear, and we are talking about political ideologies, etc. Being afraid of your fear is where all of this foolishness comes from. People are afraid of their fear. So they ignore it, they deny it, they compensate for it, they try to dominate it. They become over aggressive, they become super passive, right? They become stuck in an ideology well, and somehow it makes them feel better or superior. Okay, and that's all fear based. You want to fear, accept the fear, see the fear, accept it. Go into the body, start shining the light of consciousness on it. Don't let the fear make you pull back into those little dark rooms or build walls of belief systems, etc. Okay, so here we're learning that under the dress of being punched, by building faith in our understanding of distance, relationship, timing, velocity, and energy, and how our human physiology interacts with other human physiology, physical reality laws of physics, remember we didn't discover this, these are things that, I mean, we discovered them, excuse me, we didn't create them, we discovered them. And what we're doing is we're starting to build faith. So if something looks like, oh my God, he's gonna hit me in the face, he thinks I'm gonna hit him in the face, and all of a sudden they miss, same with the sword. And that's the foundation of high level, old Kodiu strategy, deception, okay? Okay, so. Let's take a look at another evolution of this. Gabby's then gonna throw a left and a right, okay? No, too close. Now I backed up, but we don't wanna keep moving out. <coughs> Now, again, manage the distance. Don't let the person so close they can't make a step. They're gonna, if they don't have to take a step, then they're too close and you'll take some other action. But what happens is this comes up, okay? And then as he throws the other hand, this is not a blocking. What happens is I just drop the elbow down and the, literally as he's punching right to my face, the elbow coming down under changes and cams him in a very subtle way that he can't even feel, okay? So you come up, drop the elbow down. Same. Quick. Okay. Up, down. Go slow with it. Don't push on people. Once you push, you start building a connection and a relationship. You're exchanging information. They automatically start to change and adapt and adjust to what you're doing. Remember, soft isn't a philosophy. It's not a warm, cuddly feeling. I tell Aikidoka that that warm feeling is usually blood, okay? So it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with us being super sensitive aware and telling the other person what we want them to hear or nothing at all. But if you're not, you don't know what you're telling them and they're automatically adjusting to what you're telling them in the moment. It's like an information exchange. It could be fractions of a second, completely subconscious, but it doesn't matter, it's still an information exchange. So if you're gonna manage that, 
You have to do it a particular way. And you build faith again. We've discussed this, right? Faith is, well, I'll bet our life that this is going to drop if I quit holding it. Okay? That's faith. It's not a belief. It's not arbitrary. Right? All of us in here know that that thing is going to drop if I quit holding it. So I don't make it drop. I just quit stopping it from dropping. Which is a great analogy for some of the stuff that we're doing here. Get out of your own way. Let it happen. Quit trying to make it happen. It's a huge secret. But it's so easy on the one side to articulate and so difficult to allow that people just brush past and want to get into technique and doing and all that. But, you know, decades and decades and decades have taught me that's all it is. Kind of hard to take a lot of credit for not doing very much. 